So here's a video showing how to solve a trigonometric equation where you have a coefficient inside the trigonometric function. All right, the first thing we can do is go ahead and divide both sides by 2. And we do that just because it's easy and it makes things simpler. Then we have to think about what it means for the cosine to be 1 half. Remember, cosine is the x value of the terminal point on the unit circle. This green value here is about 1 half. And so I've drawn, drawn two angles that have a cosine of 1 half. <clears throat> Excuse me, my uh, cold is making my voice bad. So clearly, the reference angle is 60 degrees. Remember, 1 half is one of those pretty answers for the pretty angles. This is 60 degrees. This is a 60 degree reference angle. And since we're looking between 0 and 180, we're looking for positive angles. We're going to go ahead and label these as 60 degrees and 300 degrees. And then we have to think about all the coterminal angles. I know we're only looking between 0 and 180, but you need to be careful when you're solving complex or complicated trig functions. The fact that there's a 3 here makes it a little bit more complicated, even if we're only looking between 0 and 180. We really need to think about looking at them all. So remember, this angle could be 60 degrees, or it could be 60 plus 360 degrees, or it could be 60 plus twice 360 degrees. That's why we have two different types of angles, 60 plus 360K and 300 plus 360K. OK, so this is just what we had from the last page. Same information, but we need to remember that the angle is 3x. It's not just x. The angle is 3x. So 3x equals 60 plus 360k, and 3x equals 300 plus 360k. And we need to write the full thing down before we divide both sides by 3. You notice the 360 turns into 120 on both of these. That's a big deal, and that's actually an error that a lot of students make, is they forget to put the 360 first, because the 360 comes from the picture. The division by 3 is an algebra step. All right, so here's our algebraic answer. We've got these two answers, but now let's talk about what to do with the z between 0 and 180. These are the infinite number of answers. I only want a few. And we go ahead and figure them out by plugging in some different k's. Let's start with k equals 0. If k equals 0, we've got 20 degrees here. And if k equals 0, we've got 100 degrees there. If k equals 1, 20 plus 120 is 140. And 100 plus 120 is 220, but already that 220 is, is too much, right? We're only supposed to go up to 180. So just because of the definition of the problem, we're done. So there's only three. There's 20 degrees, 100 degrees, and 140 degrees. And that's the solution to this lovely trigonometric equation.